Officer candidates are in the field again, but this time they're testing their abilities to execute missions as leaders. Melissa Anderson went out to the field leadership exercise to see how everything they're learning is paying off. Knowing how to lead troops during squad and platoon level operations is an essential part of being a leader. That's why officer candidates are in the field practicing these skills outside of the classroom. It's really easy to design something on paper and come up with a plan, but it's really hard to actually execute it and do that with just efficiency and ease. During this exercise, platoon-sized elements head into the woods where they face live opponents. It's up to them to figure out how to accomplish the objective while overcoming these opposing forces. Take for your security. It allows you to take the classroom to the, uh, to the field and it gives you a stress-induced environment because you have to, so many things to account for that you don't get in the classroom. After action reviews of their performance let candidates know how they can improve upon their abilities as a group and as individuals. It gives us a lot of sustains and a lot of improves where our weaknesses are and where our strong points are. So, you know, in our future career as an Army leader, we'll know where we need to improve. And there were some key skills candidates will take with them as they assume future leadership roles. They emphasize a tactical pause, taking a tactical pause from a situation. This is really teaching you to assess the situation better and take that step back and allow, allow you to delegate to your subordinates to, to do their jobs so you can assess the situation and make the best decision possible. With their field leadership exercise complete, this group of candidates is one step closer to joining the ranks as commissioned Army officers. Melissa Anderson, Fort Benning TV.